Hi and welcome to Scorecloud Songwriter. In this video I'm going to quickly show you around the program. So Scorecloud Songwriter takes a recording of your singing and playing and turns it into a lead sheet so that you can edit and share. Our AI separates the vocals from the instruments, detects the notes and the lyrics and then our music analysis interprets this and turns it into a lead sheet. It's pretty cool. So first, to use Scorecloud Songwriter you need a Scorecloud account and then upgrade it to the Songwriter or the Pro plan. There is a 10 day free trial so you can try it out. After you've logged into your account you see a list of your saved songs and the recording screen. Here you choose if you're recording just a single voice, just an instrument or both voice and instrument at the same time. Please choose the right one before recording or the program will not work correctly. You can also play to a click track. You don't have to, but it can be helpful for music with lots of syncopation. You can also import audio files. Let's do that now. Important to note here is that the recording audio quality is the most important factor in how your results will turn out. If you have an external microphone, even a cheap one, please use it. It will be better than the built-in mic. Also, the program is made for singing and playing a single instrument. Importing produced tracks with multiple singers, drums and effects can confuse the analysis and produce strange results. But feel free to try it if you want, sometimes it works great. So here's the result. You can download this audio file and import it yourself. Just go to help videos in the help menu to get all the example files. Down here is the play button. The default is that the song plays in musical timing with all the tempo variations from your recording. You can toggle this conductor icon into a clock to switch it to straight linear timing. If we look at these tabs on the left, under sheet you choose what you want to hear and what you want to see. You can play back the notated melody and accompaniment played with a MIDI instrument an accompaniment pattern based on the chord symbols in the song, a drum pattern and the separated melody and accompaniment from the original recording. You can click show mixer up here to control volumes and effects. Under display you choose what to see in the score. You can select any combination of chord symbols, guitar diagrams, melody notation, lyrics and accompaniment notation. You can for example get just a chord sheet with the lyrics. The song tab is where you change big things about your song. Time and key signatures, generate automatic chord symbols, page layout and voices in the score. The notes tab is where you change the details of the music. This panel has actions for the selected objects in the score, like adding ornaments, splitting notes, changing a bar line or a clef. From the notes palette you can drag new notes into the score. There is also an advanced manual entry tool. Under the settings tab you can choose your audio input and output. We're going to go into details on how the different parts of the program works, so make sure to check out the other videos on Scorecloud Songwriter. Thank you for watching.